Hello everyone, this is Suja. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, my price predictions. So without further ado, let us begin. So this is Bitcoin right now on the candlestick charts. Everything looks good. By the looks of it, the RSI is probably going to do a little uh, crossover here and probably it's going to signal a way back up. The CM um, RSI EMA is also doing that. Oh, so on the charts, it looks good. There might be a cross between this green, which I'm going to show you. So what's my green? Green, green, green is this one, right? So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the fifth one. So 55 oh, below the gray. So what's the gray? <laughs> I wish they labeled it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five. I think it's the 100 day EMA. So if there's a crossing between this, then it's a that's another death cr death cross. And so we're probably going to go all the way back down to 20k, right? Cuz 20k would make sense cuz it would become the resistance point if you're looking at it from that angle. But really it's going to be the support, right? The bottom resistance so it's it's going to bounce around the 25 a uh, $20,000 mark before it goes back up. And that would be interesting because then you could buy Bitcoin at that mark. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like if these two things cross. But for the time being, it's not. For the time being, it looks good. I do have a sort of a price cutoff point, right? So if Bitcoin can close anything above um, 3,600, right? So that's good. If we what we're going to see is we're going to probably come back all the way up to 42,000. So, so since it's closing above the 36 currently, like it's currently looking green, if it closes above that today, that's a good sign. Then tomorrow we might have a huge rush way back up to 42,000 and keep going back up. So these lines don't cross, right? But it may not work out that way. The, the other scenario is Bitcoin does good today, but tomorrow it comes back way down and it comes back down to 29,000. It keeps breaking. The Kage chart is showing there's a downward momentum, there's a downward trend. Um, it's crossed over the 21, and that's not really that good. So there is a higher likelihood, in my opinion, in my non-professional TA opinion, and none of this is financial advice, that Bitcoin can come down to 29,000. Um, and even the... Even the uh, Renko charts are saying that, right? Because if you look at it, it's below the 21 day moving average here also. Um, it hasn't had a green uh, brick yet. There hasn't been a cross yet. The CM, uh, uh, the, the CM RSI EMA is also beneath the moving average. That's the red dots. So while everything here looks good today, I am still going to say just because, I mean, 29,000 Bitcoin at the end of this week. Okay, maybe hugely wrong, but I'm just going to put it out there, right? So that does it for Bitcoin. Let's go look at our boy Ethereum. Homie G's got it going on, you know. Ethereum, on the other hand, looks to be doing better. Uh, it looks like it's going to come back up. The price point that I would, uh, and again, I'm not giving anyone financial advice, but myself in the future, the price point I would buy future self is at 2800. So if it breaks that level, then there's a safe bet that it can go back up. Um, yeah, we had one hammer, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bricks. Look, one hammer, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bricks. Ha, huh, interesting, right? That's confluence for you, baby. Um, and look, it's still going down. So this will probably flatline here for a while. So there is a chance that it may flatline and it keeps going down and test just like Bitcoin, the previous high. As it as the sort of the downward resistance. When I say resistance, generally people think up. So you hit a line and you resist, but there's there's downward resistance. So if you hit the bottom, you're going to resist at that bottom point. Um, but that's called a support line. So just to make everything sort of clear, what I'm saying is it might go down to a the previous all time high as a support, right? But in my mind, it's another resistance. For me, it bounces <laughs> upward resistance and downward resistance, which is 
support and resistance lines. It's easier to say support and resistance rather than to say upward and downward resistance. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, it looks good. Um, but again, I would be cautious. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go anywhere. Okay, so on the Renko chart, right? I would wait for it to break at that twenty six hundred mark. On the on this chart again, I would wait for it to break the twenty six hundred mark. Um, generally, if it breaks this twenty six hundred mark, I'll be happy and I'll say, okay, maybe we're gonna go back up. I want to see a cross here, and yeah, I want to see I want to see those signals. All right, so that does it for Ethereum, Litecoin. Light up my world. Oh Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Everything goes red at the same time. Red seas are fun to sail in. All right, so let me put my indicators on there. I don't need the volume. I don't actually use the volume all that much when I trade. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Price break. So it's still breaking. It might come down to 126. So if that's correct, right? It's below the 21 day, right? It's probably going to hit the 20, 125 mark. Then it'll probably go back up. Um, but it can actually come back all the way down to 99. And that sounds insane, but it can, right? So from my perspective, um, uh, 100, where's my default settings? I keep forgetting my default settings. Okay, so it, may come back down here in the $99 range. If it does, it's a good place to buy it. Um, you know, buy a couple of thousand dollars worth, you'll be fine and for the future, I think, because if the pattern continues, it'll go back up. Um, yeah, one, two, three. Usually after you see a hammer, one, two, three, four is the five. One, two. So we have a little bit more to go. Um, yeah, so if it breaks the 125 today, I would, I would actually, I'm saying it's gonna to go to $99. So yeah, that's my price prediction. Okay, and then Dodge Coins. Doge it like it's hot, yo. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, Doge did not disappoint. That was a hell of a pullback, homies. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, if we can break um, this line here, the point the point uh, three nine, then we have a chance of having going back to an upward momentum. But look, you know, it's still going on a downward trend. It looks like it's kind of settling down here. It might go back up again. So it does this little check mark thing, right? So I'm hopeful, but I I don't necessarily know. Um, yeah, never mind. It's probably gonna break this area and then go back down further. Um, and also the Renko is saying, okay, we had a hammer, so we're gonna have downward movements. So I think these are false positives, right? The upward movement back, but we'll see. All right, so I did Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin. So I'm gonna just summarize, right? Because summaries are good. So Bitcoin, what do I want? I want to see a break above 42,000, so break 42,000 for me to confirm that it's back for Litecoin, for Ethereum. Uh, if for Ethereum, I wanna see a break above 2,600, break 2,600. And then Litecoin, I am basically confident that Litecoin is going to go to 99. <laughs> so 
So LTC 99, right? Uh, let's see here. What did I say? What break do I need for it to... All right, so here's going to be a breaking point. So if the if this area is broken, 179, right? Then we're going to say it's going to go back up. It has to break 167 and then 179, and then it has to break again 186. So if there's a giant like price break candle that does that, we're going back all the way up, baby. But again, it doesn't look like that. So I'm just going to say it's going to keep going down. And then my homeboy Doge, the meme coin. Okay, so for that to work, 0.39 would be my breaking point. 0.39 would be my breaking point. So at that point, I'm going to say it's going to back up. Um, but I don't think so. Renko is saying we're going to push back further. Um, and then also we look at this one, the Kage, and it's also saying we're going to, excuse me, push back more, push down more. <laughs> so uh, I think we're looking at a sea of false hope for a lot of these coins. I don't think we're out of the woods yet. Um, but hey, the market is a market and it'll probably prove me wrong. So, you know, that's that. And that's the video. Thank you so much for joining me, watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Every little bit helps. If you guys have crypto that you want to donate, Dogecoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, whatever. You know, Satoshi here and there, fine. You know, it's all, my addresses are all below in the description box. See you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.